boys and girls. You know, when all of us are young, we have someone who takes care of us until we're old enough to take care of ourselves. I'm old enough now, so I can take care of other people. But being with a grown-up means that they find a home for you and a place for you to sleep, food for you to eat, clothes to wear, and of course, lots of love. Animals have moms and dads, too, who take care of them, just until they can find their own food and take care of themselves. Baby birds, little fledglings, their mom and dad make them a nest and they make sure it's up high so that they don't have to worry that they wouldn't be safe. And then they bring them food and once the little fledglings are able to fly and find their food, they go off on their own. Baby bunnies are called kits and their nest is down on the ground. Their parents make it with some dry grass and some fur, make it nice and soft, and then they put some fur, some of the fur and the grass over them to hide them. And the mommy bunny feeds them until they can hop away and be safe on their own. Well, fish have moms and dads too. And today I have a special story for you. It's called Mr. Seahorse, and it's written by Eric Carl. Now, in this book, boys and girls, the daddy fish have a very, very important and special job. Shall we find out what it might be? Mr. Seahorse. Doesn't he have beautiful colors? I love that book. There we go. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that way. And she said, it's time for me to lay my eggs. Can I help, Mr. Seahorse said. Oh, yes, thank you. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take very good care of those eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. So Mrs. Seahorse is giving Mr. Seahorse the eggs to take care of. Well, as Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hiding in this patch of reeds. I don't see the trumpet fish, do you? Let's check. Ah, oh, there they are. They're camouflaging themselves to stay safe. All the same colors, and they found a place in the reeds. What a clever idea. Well, before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? Delighted, he said. I just built a nest, and right away, Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs all over that nest. Look at them all. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam away. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, it's hidden behind this coral reef. Shall we take another peek? Oh, there's the lionfish. Watch. I don't see it now. There he is. They're very good at camouflaging themselves. Before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? Mr. Tilapia could not answer because his mouth was full of the eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs, and now you're taking very good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy. And Mr. Seahorse swam away. As he drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by several leaf, leaf fish, and they were behind the seaweed. Let's look. Oh, look at all the colors. There they are. And look at when they went behind the seaweed. It was very hard to see them. Let's see who he's going to meet next. Before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? Perfectly fine. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs, and I have them stuck right on my head. Oh, I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. Well, you're doing a very good job, said Mr. Seahorse. And he drifted away gently through the sea, 
passing a stonefish behind a very big rock. Oh, let's be. Oh, there he is, the stonefish. Look at all the colors. He blended right in. I couldn't even see him either. Come on, Peach. There we go. Before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? Couldn't be better, said Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs. Look at, did you find them? They're all along his belly. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. Well, you should feel very proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam away. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. Well, how are you, Mr. Bullhead? Oh, tip top. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs, and the eggs hatched, and now I'm babysitting. Wow, look at all of the fish that hatched for Mr. and Mrs. Bullhead. They're swimming all around. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and he twisted this way and that, and at last the babies tumbled out from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and they started to swim away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse, I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. When you grow up, you'll be on your own too, but don't be in a rush because mom and dad love taking care of you. Just like each of the daddy fish had a special place to take care of those eggs, your moms and dads have special rules and things that they do with your family, and I hope you cooperate at your house too. They love you very much, they wanna protect you, and I know you love them too. So be kind and make sure that you're giving mom and dad some help. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye, boys and girls.